Hey everyone, it's Henry! And mowers and blowers! Good morning! So our stretch of six or seven days of absolutely gorgeous 60 to 75 degree weather is over! Uh, we're supposed to get three days of consecutive rain. Give me an opportunity to go and do a carburetor uh, replacement. Because this is a hydrostatic, you have to lift up one side of the wheel to get it out. Uh, this one defers a little bit because this one actually has a fixed jet uh, screw here, which you could actually open up and clean, whereas the other one you couldn't. So that ha that's something, you know. So I'm just going to try this one. This one has a fuel solenoid on it. That one doesn't. So I'm just going to use that uh, bowl nut and replace it with this fuel solenoid because I don't want it. So this is a brand new carburetor. It should be just plug and play, with the exception of the little rubber grommet that goes right there. So I'll just remove it from that one, put it on here. Uh, it's supposed to be a half inch nut over here. So I have a half inch wrench. Need 10 millimeter bolts to remove the air cleaner base. And then a few lines and that should be it. That's all it takes to, to clean the carb. Got a vent tube here, vacuum hose, remove the base, this thing slides right out, fuel clamp, hose clamp out. Fuel line. Z bend here. Z bend there. There's a little grommet there. And then remove this grommet. new carburetor that doesn't have the grommet it's the plastic grommet in the hole okay I'm gonna remove the uh, fuel solenoid Remove the bowl nut. Crap. Grass is gonna die around here for sure. Of course, this doesn't. Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm gonna replace the nut only. Okay, I'm going to put the throttle thing through here, choke through there, slip it through, gaskets in place, place the fuel nozzle back on there. How easy is this so far, huh? Super, super easy. It's got a gasket there. Attach the hose.
place the two nuts. You're a nut. I'll tighten these up, give it a try. So I've got the fuel turned up, turned back on. So far so good, no leaks, right? <clears throat> Choke it for the first time, give it a try. On the air cleaner and park it still some gas in here so i'll probably use it to pick up some leaves deplete the gas and then park it for the winter so how about that huh honestly that might be one of the fastest carburetor replacements that i've done in the field when i say in the field i mean not in the garage you know going to a place with a handful of tools that you know you'll need and there's replacing the carburetor just like that honestly Without taking off that silly uh, wing nut, it took forever, you know what I'm saying? That was all off or whatever, you know? I mean, that took a total of 10 minutes. So uh, the actual carburetor replacement was like five or six minutes, you know? So think about this, fellas. If you had the know-how to do that and somebody uh, had a carburetor that needed replacing, you know, because you knew that the carburetor uh, was just gunked up and all you had to do was replace the carburetor, $15 you'd spend for the carburetor, right? You go to somebody's house if you had a mobile service, right? And you just change their carburetor in 10 minutes, man. You can charge them 150 bucks for that service. You know what I'm saying? 150 bucks for what I just did. For today, changing a uh, Kohler Command Chinese carburetor because it surged. I think if I drop that first one into a ultrasonic cleaner and let it soak for a bit, I bet you that carburetor would work just fine, you know? Uh, scraped off all the uh, rust off of this Husqvarna 2346 XLS, my Vanguard engine. Now this tractor just needs some orange paint, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know, park it in the back for the winter or something, but how about that engine? That engine's great. Uh, grease the fittings on the uh, steering. And then that's my rainy afternoon, fellas. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers! As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas, 
goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.